In this lesson, I want to give you a few ideas for getting out of what I call the loop repetition rut. Quite often when people start producing in Ableton, a lot of the time you'll come up with a nice idea for a drum pattern, bass line, chord progression, but you'll just have a short, short loop anywhere from let's say one to four bars long. You could have the hottest drum beat, but if it's only a one bar loop, after you listen to it for let's say like 30 seconds, you're gonna start to get bored with your own music. You're getting bored with it, so will everyone else. So I wanna show you a way of um, just doing some simple MIDI editing and MIDI overdubbing to extend your loops and then make little changes, little variations. Let's see what we have here right now. This is just a quick little idea. I started, it's got some drums, it's got some chords, and they're all short loops right now. So right now we're dealing with a four bar drum loop, another four bar drum loop, and a two bar chord progression. Let me show you how we could uh, make this a little more interesting by extending things out. I'm gonna start with this drum track right here. This one's only four bars long and it's just a kick and a snare. Open that up a little bit. So what I like to do sometimes is I'll take a, a good idea that I started and I want to extend it so I can add some variations. Now, a really easy way to do that when you're in the session view is if you double click on your MIDI clip and you come down to the clip detail view, here in the notes section, you'll see that it says duplicate loop. This will take the entire loop, everything that's in it right now, the entire length and duplicate it. So we have four bars right now. Now we have eight bars. If I hit it again, it's gonna duplicate all of that. Now I have 16 bars. And I could just do something as simple as coming through on the last bar here, turn my pencil tool on, and maybe I just wanna go and give myself a different kind of beat. I'll go ahead and just program it, make a little fill here. So the last bar. Maybe make another snare. Okay, so now I've got a nice little change up in there. Let me go to the chords next. The chords right now is the most simple of all the ideas that I have here right now. It's only two bars long. Here's what that sounds like right now. I'll go ahead and use that duplicate loop feature again and hit it a few times until I get 16 bars. Now this time, Instead of doing it with the pencil tool, I'll be doing it by overdubbing. I've got a MIDI controller hooked up right now, a MIDI keyboard. I've got my track arms. So that means I can play some keys. And it's going to pick up on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some new ideas on top of this current progression by using the overdub switch. And that is this guy right here, our session record button. By turning that on and launching this clip, it's going to allow me to go ahead and just play new ideas on top of the existing one. Let me try it out. Just go ahead and hit stop. And you heard that nice little drum fill on the first track. Now I've got some nice little variations in the chords there. So you just take, you can just take short ideas and duplicate them. And then either using the pencil tool and manually drawing in changes or using the session overdub, you can easily play your ideas using any MIDI controller. Try it out. 